Hey guys, it's me, it's KY, and we're gonna play some Mother 3, which I've been streaming for a little while. Uh, it felt appropriate to do this on my birthday because uh, not only was this the first game I streamed at Vine Sauce six years ago, but I actually did it right around the time of my birthday. It was around, I mean, Vinny started the stream in May 2010, and uh, I joined the crew around June 2010. So it was like right after Vine Sauce started, this was the first thing I did. So it's almost to the day that I had streamed this uh, six years ago, right around my birthday, right at the beginning of this madness that has become Vine Sauce over the years. Um, let me see, is this working? Kinda, not really. Let me fix this real quick. My controllers, my controls are all fucked up. I feel like I gotta set this every time I play. Oh, hang on, I think I know the problem. Wait, no? Huh, acting really weird. Give me a sec, guys. I gotta do this manually. Oh, huh. Wait, select. There we go. Oh, it's detecting Joy 1 and 2 at the same time, which is really strange. There we go. I guess that'll work. There we go. How was is my birthday? It's been pretty good. Um, yesterday, Carrie and I went to uh, a river near where we live, uh, where people can gather and walk and chill out and swim. So we got our swim stuff on, grabbed a cooler and some beer, and we hung out by the river for a couple hours. Got a little drunk. It was fun. Came home, played lots of Doom. Uh, went to a diner, because I love diners. And yeah, it was a great birthday. I guess that was yesterday. It wasn't even today. Today all I did was play Doom, watched anime, and now I'm going to play some video games. Thanks for all the birthday wishes, everybody. Carrie gave me a number of great gifts, including a Lucas Mebo. We're right at the beginning of chapter four. Time for a sad game, I know, right? <laughs> Nothing to make my birthday complete other than really depressing video games. And then later on, uh, I'm gonna join some of the other streamers and uh, any viewers who can fill up the slots to play Quiplash. And that'll be a lot of fun too. If you never played Quiplash, it's really fun. Uh, Kind of a Cards Against Humanity type thing, but you write your own prompts. Chapter 4! Club Titty Boo. It's weird that the first chapter when you take control of the main character who is a child, it's called Club Titty Boo. Yeah, Quiplash is really good. I might need to drink a few beers before I do Quiplash. Three years later, Tasmili Village. Now, for those who are just tuning in for the first time for Mother 3, um, three years prior to this, Tazmili was a quaint little village who just had money introduced for the first time. Before that, they just did everything for free. Um, and you're going to see how everyone changed as a result. I don't think Lucas is 13. I think he's more like 8. At most, he's like 10. Um, when he's... In the introduction chapters, I think he's more like four. Although, I don't know. I wonder how old Lucas is. Does someone want to try to look it up? Plays Black Watchman drunk. That would be the worst. I don't know if I want to do that. Is he 12? Is he really 12? I always saw him being even younger. He's probably around the same age as Ness. Yeah, but how old is Ness? Are you planning to play in your pajamas? 
Oh, he's remembering his mom. For those who, how many of these people here right now have never seen Mother 3 before? Hinawa, who is Lucas's mother, died about three years prior to this point. Yeah, I guess Vinny's gonna be streaming Kirby. The hell? Yeah, let's take it. <laughs> I just woke up. Let's take another nap. So when he's trying to leave in his pajamas, he's actually remembering his mom from three years ago, still being haunted by her memory. Three years prior to this scene. Uh. Oh, here we go. More memories. Dude, that's what I do on my weekends. I wake up, and then I take a nice nap, and it's great. There we go. Ghost mom dressed me. You mean you guys don't get dressed by ghost mom every morning? Yeah. Bah! Wild animals are afraid of lightning, but livestock are actually pretty okay with it. You'll hear my shitty voice acting during the stream, by the way. So I hope you're prepared for that. Got on my best lady bo voices. Woof woof! I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. Yeah, Boney joined my party. I'm pretty sure he is my only fellow party member for a while. Ah, <laughs> lightning scary, smile. I got charred black, smile. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be white. This music so good this game in fact the whole mother series just has some of the best music in videos I think I could bring in voice actors from Skype I could but I can't use Skype guys I have to use discord hey you there boy boy I realize this might be a bit of a bother but please come talk to me I have very important information for you hmm Nessa's voice actor Japanese while Lucas says speaks English. Hmm. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. It'll be given in units called DP Dragon Power. <laughs> How would you feel if they they converted all money to a global unit of currency on planet Earth called Dragon Power? Hop, do you need something? Yeah. DP stuff so I can withdraw monies. I'll take out 20. You're holding on, you're holding out on saving, but I hope you're not holding on using the bathroom too, whatever the hell that means. Yeah, dragon power. The world would be a happier place if the world operated on dragon power. Dude, my birthday is the same day as yours, Inaid. Well, happy birthday, man. How old are you? Hope you're not as old as I am. I'm 49. Oh, thanks, Mythos. Thanks for all the birthday wishes, guys. So this is Tasmalee's famous lightning house. It really is incredible. It's definitely worth coming all the way here to see. You must really love being unhappy if you still refuse to get a happy bo box after all this. I think the, what, the way it works is that houses without happy boxes are just being threatened by lightning. A simple atmosphere, the smell of livestock and sea breezes. This is the only part of Tasmania that hasn't changed a bit over these three years. You know, I think this sprite is in Earthbound as well. This old man sprite. You turned 22? Nice. Well, congrats. I'm actually 28. I'm not really 49. Who do you think I am, Vinny? Did you think so much beauty would blossom up in only three years? Huh? What? Am I talking about myself? No, of course not. No, I'm talking about Taz Millie. Dude, it's Lanyo's birthday too? Holy shit, how many people just had a birthday today? Happy box. The happy box is giving off a wobbling sort of sound. No problemo here. It is. 
this? All hail King KY. Seaside Hermit, 12 months in a row. Let me make sure we're getting credit for that. There you go. Seaside Hermit. A whole goddamn year. He probably subscribed on my birthday last year. And now he did it. Resubscribed this year. He did a whole year. Thank you so much for your support, man. An oven for turning iron red hot. This is the very latest not made model. That's a huge ass oven. God damn. <laughs> Those cat emotes. Those are the best emotes. I'm proud of having the best cat emotes on Twitch. I really am. I was contemplating doing a subscriber discord. Because just as like a why not thing. Like just another thing to, you know, for the subs to, to utilize. But I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? Would it make you angry? Would you not care? Would, do you think it'd be a good thing? My dad's working over the factory, so he left me in charge of the store. Would you like to buy something? Oh man. I need these things. The dog can wear a hat! I need to get all these things. I could join the Vine Talk. It got all the other streamers. Yeah. Just be a, be a part of Vine Talk. Maybe. Is that just like a communal sub sub Discord thing? Oh, Yaddo. Yaddo is huge now. Holy crap. I don't remember it growing to be this large. But I guess you don't spend most of the game in Tasmili, so... <gasps> Our Yaddo Inn has changed so much and gained so many customers. Ever since Mr. Facade came to town. <laughs> it's like everyone knows. And, but they don't think anything of it. They say this village had no happy boxes until three years ago. How's my birthday in general? It was good. Um, I already described what I did earlier. I got drunk by a river and then played Doom all day and went to a diner for dinner and it was excellent. Today we watched uh, the Evangelion movie because we've been watching that anime. Me and Milady. Milady. The DCMC band is a bassist named Lucky. He seems a little bum like, but apparently he's a really good performer. Um, which was good. The movie was better than the real than the finale to the actual show. Uh, what else did we do? I'm so fucked up. God damn it, that scene. What else did I do? I played Doom today. Um, I played a roguelike called The Ground Gives Way, which, by the way, if anyone's into roguelikes like I am, you should play that game, because it is excellent. It's called The Ground Gives Way, and it's crazy good. It's very compact. Hmm, which is it? I've decided to call you other. You're so boring. Thanks, lady. What else did I do today? Um, I got some presents. Besides the cards that my family sent me, uh, Carrie gave me a number of presents. Uh, she gave me a shirt, a bathing suit, um, a Lucas Amiibo, Preacher Book 2, Doom, um, some spicy, sweet, uh, um, shit. Nuts of some kind. I can't remember what kind they are. Um, pecans. That's what they are. Pecans. And some dark chocolate covered beans. Uh, coffee beans. And they were very good. So in other words, uh, Carrie's pretty goddamn cool. And I'm gonna give her lots of great stuff for her birthday in a month. Can you see the bathing suit? It's, um, it has like palm trees and shit on it. Oh, and lots of beer. She gave me a lot of beer, and I was like, cool. <sighs> Grandpa and I are supposed to go to the beach after I change into my swimsuit, but I can't take my eyes off this happy box. <laughs> we already have a Ness Amiibo. So now I have my Lucas and Ness Amiibo side by side. Which, it's weird. Even though they're just like little plastic Nintendo dolls, um, just looking at them gives me a lot of nostalgia. Like, when I opened up the, the, the Lucas Amiibo and, and held the Ness Amiibo in my other hand, 
and looked at them. I just like sat there and stared and just felt nostalgia. I didn't even think anything, just felt nostalgia for a solid 60 minutes. I love helping people out. Nice. Good job, kid. Potato-like men are my type. Ooh, I'm screenshotting this for Darren. Boop. Let me send it to him. I'm tweeting to him, doing it live. Live tweet, yep. Angie and Darren sitting in a tree. E A T I N G P O T A T O E S. Oh, Lucas, welcome. Fuel's been helping out around the store lately. He's a real lifesaver. Or oh, are you uh, here to buy something? Let's see what you got. No. You sell a nut cookie, nut bread, bread roll, peculiar cheese, egg, and milk. That's all they sell. I mean, I guess their bakery kind of kind of makes sense. As far as video games go, you found they have more of an emotional connection with 999 and Virtue's Last Reward. I liked 999 a lot. Um, I've not played Virtue's Last Reward yet, but I'll probably play it on 3DS now that it's on the eShop. Wait, what? No way. Wow, nothing can do with that trash can. Okay guys, tell you what. I'm gonna go grab a drink, a beer, I'll be right back. Brewski. I'm drinking. Real Ale Brewing Company Lost Gold. That's what it's called. It's an IPA. Shit. Now the bottle opener. Son of a bitch. Um, hang on. I think one of these is twist off. Give me a sec. KBC Ken and Bunkport Brewing Company Mango Pale Ale. Oh, I thought this was a twist. God damn it. I thought one of these was a twist, but I guess not. Okay, well, I'll be right back again. back. Back to that lost gold. There we go. Okay. So, guys, E3 is coming soon. First off, do you really think they're going to show nothing but Zelda? Because I think they're going to show a lot more than that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that was just a total misinterpretation in the first place like I think what they meant was that their focus is gonna be Zelda and that everyone was like they're only showing Zelda 
Like, they just totally misinterpreted what they meant. Giggle, our happy cooling box is just handy dandy. You know, this is kind of a bad analogy, because the whole idea behind the happy box being a TV is that it, like, rots your brain, like it just entrances you and it's not true happiness. But then they have a happy cooling box, which is weird. <laughs> it's weird having that parallel, because it's like, I guess refrigerating and making sure your food doesn't spoil is brainwashing, you know? Linda's over at the retirement home again, taking care of the senior citizens there. I wish she'd take care of me too. Oh, Paul. He has such a poor life. Poor guy with his huge flat screen happy box with massive speakers. Then again, he has a little one over here too. You talked to Nana yet? I have not. Kingdom Hearts 3, I don't know. I bet we'll get a release window for Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, I was hoping to hear about the NX. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they did show some NX stuff, even though they said they weren't. You know? It could just be a ploy. He's ignoring you. Whenever I listen to Mr. Facade talk, I suddenly want everything. It's almost like he's a magician, Giggle. Why is everyone giggling? Oh, Lucas, hi! Oh, hello there, Lucas. You look a bit down the dumps. A happy box would really change your life, you know? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, hey there, Lucas. I hear Dad's still hiking up the mountains looking for claws. You should really tell, your, tell him yourself that it's about time you give up already. Jesus, what a vicious thing to say about someone who lost their kid. Giggle. Oh, hello, Lucas. Don't bother Mr. Facade and the others too much now. Why is... Why'd everyone become a prick? Oh, Lucas, your house certainly enjoys being struck by lightning, I must say. Do you still intend to live in it, after all the fires and scorching and whatnot? I must admit it's a real downer on Tasmili Village's image. Oh, yes, yes. Your maternal grandfather has moved into the new and shiny retirement home. Where is it? Across the way that away. I don't remember this retirement home stuff. Considering 2.8 is coming out December worldwide, I suspect we'll be getting it by 2017. By 2017? But see, if it's coming out... If 2.8 is coming out December worldwide, I wouldn't expect to get Kingdom Hearts 3 any sooner than within six months of that. So if that game is coming out December, I'm expecting Kingdom Hearts 3 like summer 2017 or so. Oh, hello. Well, if you'll excuse me. What's he doing? He's not doing anything. Retirement home is Wes's old house. I totally don't remember that at all. Yeah, Reds. I was talking about this with Carrie the other day, how I started to tune out of Kingdom Hearts around the time that Keyblades became like a common thing. Like, the Keyblade Wars were kind of cool because they implied that Keyblades were, like, common back in the day and there was some kind of war and now they're uncommon. But that was the last of it. Now it just feels like everyone has a Keyblade. There's an Organization 13 that has 14 members. Nobody's are, uh, are the X versions of your Heartless. It's just like, it's all nonsense. It's such a nonsense plot, it's ridiculous. Oh, hello, Lucas. Oh, and Boney, too. Your grandfather's upstairs in the room on the far left. Is they So they stuck all the old people in this shitty, dilapidated house. Dilapidated. I'm here visiting my grandma. We play games like Pin the Tail on the Leak, Hide and Go Sweep, and ho the Hokey Pokey. <laughs> games like the Hokey Pokey. Having your grandchildren visit is a true cause for happiness. Thanks. I haven't seen Flynn at all lately. How is he? We'll see. Drip, drip, drip. Um, Kingdom Hearts 2 is 
just like Kingdom Hearts 1, there was a Chain of Memories, which was kind of card-based, and it was actually kind of cool. The plot was kind of shitty, but the battle system was surprisingly interesting, I think. But then they just got so stupid with the game titles, like 350 over 2. Like, what does that even mean? Could anyone in chat just explain to me? In, a, in like one or two succinct sentences the meaning behind that title like I'm totally receptive to what it means just explain oh thank you Steam Charlie I heard that the 3DS game was actually really good it's just no one played it I'm sorry, Mike, but that's called sexual harassment these days. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's what happens when I tune out and then start reading. Days gone by. So 350 over 2 days went by? It's the number of days in a year, but it's not the number of days. It's, it's like... Because it's short of 356. It's like 352 or something. So it's not days of the year. What's with the over two thing? Explain that at least. 358 days following two people round. Is it 358? 358 over two days. 358 divided by two days. How do you even say that title? Subtitle read as 358 days over two. Apparently. Kingdom Hearts 358 days over two. In Japanese. There are 358 days in the game. Okay. We're getting closer. Roxas and Zion were unconscious at some point during the game, but the 358 days were not fully experienced by either of them, making days almost split between the two of them. It's a stretch. I'll be honest, I think it's a stretch. Thank you, Jen. Oh god, my flux just kicked in. Everything turned orange. Let me turn that bag off. Okay. That facade guy has screwed up everything in every way possible. What's he trying to do this village? I don't know. Coo coo. That's a fancy shirt you have. <laughs> Thanks. It's just a normal striped shirt. Thanks though. Here's my grandpa. Oh Lucas, how have you been? Lightning hit my. I totally didn't get a chance to read that. Let's try that again. Lightning hit my mountain cabin a million times, making it impossible to live in anymore. I know it's hard to imagine the lightning was trying to hit my house specifically, but come on, one million times? Yep. Something's weird there. Nothing is more pretentious than O12 pronounced duodecim. <laughs> yeah, that's a little funny. Like, what happened to simple game titles, you know? The worst are, like, those fighting games that are, like, Guilty Gear Xrd 3 Overdrive plus Checkmark Square Root. Those drive me crazy. Those are just... I can't even begin. Like, how do you justify those titles? Wait, who passed away? Scamp? Hmm. I don't remember Scamp at all. Duo Decum? I thought it was Duo Decum. See, Tournament Edition, okay, that's fine. Even DX, that's fine with me. Deluxe, you know. X Erd, what does that mean? Apparently, Kingdom Hearts 2.8 is called 2.8 because 2.8 plus Birth by Sleep point two equals 3. Was Birth by Sleep point two? I don't remember that. 
kind of makes sense a little bit. This is our training facility. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? Does no one remember that these pigs came and destroyed everything? Sunstroke. Oh, thanks, Dusk. How are you doing today? I, I assume that DX means deluxe. That's what I always assumed. Like Link's Awakening DX. I assumed that was deluxe. Oh, you guys want to join our army too? Then you gotta go eat lots and lots until you're nice and big first. You know, from a plot standpoint, I won't give away the spoilers, but from a plot standpoint, that does make a little bit of sense later on. I won't explain, but... Also, uh, the lamp behind my desk that I was using as kind of a backlight for my monitor, it fell and broke. So everything, I don't know, everything looks weird since without the backlight, I don't like it. The monitor's super bright. I ordered a new backlight strip that I can just stick on the back of my monitor. Hope that'll be better. So what am I supposed to be doing? I'm guessing I'm supposed to go north and try to find Flint. Let's see. Nothing circle on the map. Let's go left now. Keep exploring. Lightning struck Reggie's tent. That's what he gets for not having a happy box. <laughs> An LED, yeah. Yeah, whatever. It's just a strip of lights. Probably LEDs. Kingdom Hearts 3 and Half-Life 3 will come out the same year. I can see that. You know... Let's, let's get real for a second. I'm going to start a straw poll for this. You don't have to answer in the chat, but what the straw poll is going to be... You... Honestly... Wait, no. Do you believe that... Half-Life 3 will... Ever... Come out? Be honest. Serious question here. I want to know what you guys think. And then I'll tell you what I think after. Boo, 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 boo. Straw polls in chat. That'd be funny if they went straight to Half-Life 4. Another game title that's confusing is Tokyo Mirage, Mirage Sessions Sharp FE. Let this be a lesson. Punishment falls upon the homes of all bad guys. <laughs> that was one bad guy. This village sure has a lot of lightning lately. Hmm. Now, I wonder what the pig army's plan was, you know, overall, to just, you know, with this whole lightning tower nonsense. I don't think I ever thought about it too much. I don't know, they, I know they didn't just want to re release it unless they did something different. Now they have VR as a chance to do something different. Yeah, I could see them someday coming out with some kind of Half-Life VR. I could see that. Let me see what you guys are saying. Almost 50-50. More no's than yes, though, which is kind of how I feel. I don't think... I would not be surprised if Half-Life 3 never came out. Valve kind of doesn't really make games anymore other than The Lab. And Dota, I guess. What was the last game Valve came out with before Dota? And The Lab. Was it Portal 2? Dolphin Ossicle. An Ossicle is an ear bone. <laughs> I like that the game actually tells you. Counter-Strike Go. Oh yeah, I guess Counter-Strike Go. Was that after... Yeah. 
that reggae rhythm. Ah. <laughs> All schools are for selling. Oh, really? Oh, nice. All right, I'm gonna get some more of those. CSGO. Yeah, I guess so. My first game on Steam, I think, was Borderlands. Borderlands and Half-Life 1. When I got my first PC that could actually run any kind of games at all. In fact, it couldn't even run Borderlands. I just got it for the future. I was like, someday I will have a computer that can run this. So I must buy it while it's $5. Thank you, Zane. How are you doing? Please refrain from practicing, practicing comedy routines in this area. Greetings, lumber people. Hang on a second, guys. I'm going to try something real quick. Aw, oh, my aunt just texted me. Hang on. Let me text her back. She texted me a picture of a fucking cupcake. <laughs> it says happy birthday on it. And the cupcake has two little ghost, like, sprinkles. Um, it looks like a Halloween cupcake with happy birthday photoshopped in. <laughs> Okay. You did the, did that with Skyrim. You can run Skyrim on your first PC. Wow. That's pretty excellent. I love my aunt. She's pretty awesome. Oh, there's a, there's a fucking pig on the beach. That woman over there. She keeps looking this way. I wonder if she likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Hmm. What woman? Uh, that's not a woman. This woman? That man over there, he keeps looking this way. I wonder if he likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Frog. What was my first PC game ever? Well, I didn't... It's kind of hard to define that. Do you count, like, you know, games that were on my dad's PC when I was a baboo? Because if we're counting Babu tier, or Babu era games, um, the earliest one I remember playing was Wheel of Fortune on DOS. Of course, I had all the stuff that was bundled with Windows 3.1, like Jez Ball. <laughs> I had Jez Ball and Klotsky, and Minesweeper, of course. Oink. When I just lie here like this, I can forget all, about all the bad things in life. I feel ya, Pigo. I feel ya. The first computer game I ever bought for myself, or not even bought for myself, but picked out, like something I went to a store shelf and held up to my dad was like, buy this. Um, I don't know what the first was, but I can think of a couple. Uh, one of them is Gran Grim Fandango. We found it at some like PC expo thing. It was like in a shitty warehouse. And I was like, Dad, this looks cool, buy it. So we got it. It would run barely and crash within the first 30 minutes consistently. Everyone hates me, you know? They all say I talk too much, never shut up. For sure you don't want to turn back now? Don't turn back. Do you know what a trumpet is? I was actually thinking about learning how to play the trumpet, but I didn't. It's not that I was bad at it or anything, it's just how it was destined to be. Do you know what destiny is? Destiny. If you do, then that's cool. My destiny just didn't cross the destiny of trumpets, that's all. But thanks to my not taking up the trumpet, I can use the time I would have spent practicing on it on other things. That's one way of looking at it. It's not like I'm doing something wrong here. Yeah. I'll start something else, and who knows, maybe that'll turn out well. Like, maybe I could start practicing the Yanopi. Do you know what Yanopi is? It's a proper term for a piano. What if I start practicing the Yanopi now and wind up being the greatest Yanopist ever? Char charming the hearts of men the world over. That happens in me and I was right about everything, wouldn't it? My fate still hasn't kissed the Yanopi's fate at a crosswalk just yet. But nobody knows what the future holds. Not even mole crickets, water striders, or horned owls. Hey you, smile. Yes. You have a really cute smile, you know that? So anyway, basically, 
<laughs> hey, Hootie. Ugh. You should have turned back when you had the chance. <laughs> Amore, that's love. Love, that's Amore. Yep, called it. This lady is also a sprite from Earthbound. She is the, um, I think she's based on that lady who, uh, who kidnaps you in Threed during the zombie outbreak thing. What else? Um, I remember getting Math Blaster. Play the shit out of Math Blaster. Talk to her again, she has something else to say. Great. You know, I think I could start to like you. Ooh. Ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, it's the zombie lady in Threed. Oh, who care? Oh, Lucas. Do you still have a happy box at home? God damn it. Everyone's convinced. Everyone's obsessed with the happy boxes. Seriously, you don't even work. Even kids are working at the factory nowadays, you know? <laughs> it's true. As you're gonna find out later on. Was that a 3D game where you shoot, like, power plants or something? I don't think so. <laughs> Math Blaster had four uh, stages. At least the one I had. It was Math Blaster Episode 1 In Search of Spot, is what it was called. And it had four stages. Stage one, you had to blast um, answers to equations out of the sky. Like it was first person, you were in a, the cockpit of a spaceship, and it would say three plus one, you had to shoot the four. Uh, stage two, you had to convert equations into fuel for your spaceship. So you were like down beneath the ship, picking out things from a conveyor belt. Stage three, you had to navigate it was like a little side scroller where you had a jetpack that had a number attached to it and you could only fly through the gates that had the correct like mathematically sound answers and that was my favorite part and then stage four was the boss you had uh, you saw the bad guy in his spaceship and you had to shoot the right numbers at his ship in order to destroy it man I loved it Babu game stream when? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I could just stream all the all the games that made up my childhood gaming experience. And I mean like super super young Babu gaming. Could play Mist, which I just watched my dad play a lot. Super Mario World, because it was my first console game. Math Blaster. Jezebel. Pretty much anything in Windows 3.1. Okay, I've been there. I've actually streamed Mist before a couple of times. I streamed Riven once. I just love those games in general. Uh, I hate how dark, dark it is at my desk now. Uh, hang on, my aunt's texting me some more. Let me, let me get her back. guys. I want to make sure I don't neglect my family here. Okay. There we go. Here come that boy. Holy shit. Where did he come from? I don't remember that at all. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> yep. Um, have I ever checked out the mother like Oyasumi? No, I've actually never heard of that one. Here's another Earthbound throwback sprite. There's a lot of them. Am I wearing my crown today? No. <laughs> Carrie took a shitty picture of me that put on this like crown thing. I think it's part of that that face swap program. 
whatever it's called. Okay. Let's go visit my mom's grave. <laughs> I say optimistically. Oh, what the hell is this? Dude, I totally forgot about the frog car. Or I didn't even know about the frog car, I don't think. Sprinting bomb. Oh wait, no, we were gonna sell our dolphin ossicles and buy some cool stuff. This looks like an Earthbound ripoff. Yep, sure is. That's not where I want to be. Here we go. Nicole. Nickel. They only sell for five. I'll sell my Thunder Bomb. Don't really need that. Dude, my Sprinting Bomb goes for a thousand. I don't need that shit either. Sweet, now I can afford some of these things. Defense plus seven. Let's see, 50, 60. I could get two of these. Hmm, defense plus seven. Kid's shirt and then a kid's hat for Boney, I guess. Hmm. I'll probably get these things later. Oh, I could have just equipped them right there. Shit, hang on. Uh, you think they would have fixed the inventory between the two games, but they didn't. Yeah, I love this game's, uh... Art 2, I think it looks a lot better than Earthbound overall. Yeah, I need a spring bomb, man. Oh shit, what up? I don't want to talk to you. I gotta save again. Just to be safe. Okay. Wow, we're eight hours into this already. I can't even believe that. Thank you, Robo Rick. How are you doing today? Boo boo do boo. Boo do 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 do. Let's go visit mom's grave. Oh no, did his house get struck by lightning too? Your old man's always visiting Hanawa's grave. Yep. I am gonna play Mother 4 when it comes out. I've talked at length about Mother 4 uh, uh, in the previous stream, so I'm not gonna say too much about it, but the answer is yes. Oh, Lucas, it's been a while now. You should go talk with your mom. Oh shit, do I need to do my, my lady voice? Here it comes. <clears throat> oh wait, maybe not. Nope, never mind. No lady voice. Not yet. Wife of Flint. Mother of the twins, Klaus and Lucas. Daughter of Alec. May the beautiful Hinawa rest in peace here for all time. Mother 3 is not out, but when it does come out, I will play it. That's what I said. Sunflowers. Hinawa's favorite. Someone in the previous stream said that Hinawa translates to Sunflower or something? Is that true, or were they just full of it? Huh. Can I actually go back into the castle? Oh, weird. I don't think I realized I could do this right now. Is the castle just empty? Oh, interesting. You think it's some kind of pun, but Hana is flower in Japanese. Oh, okay. Alright. Milf on the gravestone. What? Hang on. Milf. 
I don't think that's true. Let's go check it out. MILF. It does kind of look like MILF a little bit. Or OILF. Or OILP, even. Like J-Man's pointing out. Ugh, why did you have to say MILF, though? You just ruined that. Seriously, dude. Ugh. Everything is ruined forever. Because of the MILF gravestone. Just made this game significantly worse. Crap. Oop. No problems here. Lucas opened the present bread roll. I wish there were just boxes of bread rolls laying around the world. That'd be great. There's a blue mobile house over there. The interesting one that looks like it was made with whatever was handy at the time. Do you see it there? Do you see that guy next to it in the knit cap? Apparently you hold on to any items that are weighing you down. This guy. I don't even think I have anything like that. Right now. <sighs> I could sell the mini mini charm. Try using it on human enemies. No, I, I'm not sure if I've ever done that. Okay, let's sell the sell the extra charm that we have. Mm, sure. I say we remodel the old ruins of Oso Castle and turn into the Tasmania Resort facility. Anonymous. Sure. Train station attendants. <laughs> Is the lightning helping us? Thanks to the lightning, all the dirty old houses are being cleaned away. So in a way, the lightning is helping all of us. That's what I think from a popular popular citizen. Happy boxes are the greatest. Now to develop even bigger screens, Abba and Abby. I want to be a pig mask too. How can I be one? I know I can be a good one. Please, let me be a pig mask. Also, I thought Nuggies is good. Well, goodbye. Fried Pork Kid. Thanks, Fried Pork Kid. Truly the best character of all time. Nuggies. Yeah, Nuggies were our favorite food at the beginning of the game. That's why he said it. Fried Pork Kid helped prevent me from going to meme hell. <laughs> when you said meme hell, I just imagined like a Doom mod that replaces all the enemies with memes. Come on now, Jackie, get real! Can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen hide nor hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Huh? Oh, that's nothing. There's this concert hall named Club Titty Boob past the factory. <laughs> the bass player there looks kinda like Duster. Jack here is convinced he's Duster. But it looks just like him. I really think we should tell old man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure. But we'd only wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. The guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyway, time to head home and have some chow while I watch the happy box. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving too. Well, see you, Lucas. So Flynn, I said hi. Boo, boo, doo, boo, boo. Hey, Darth. Thank you so much, man. Good to see ya. Yeah, I'm glad I got a chance to do a stream. You guys are some of my best friends. So it's nice to get to relax a bit, play some video games. 
with you guys. Darren already made a mod that replaces all the enemies with that boy, and all the sound effects are just it's that boy and oh shit what up. Really. That's kinda sad. Oh, all the hearts in chat. All the hearts. Chat's flooded with purple hearts. I love it. There's simply been far too much lightning lately. This lightning somehow doesn't seem natural. That said, I can't imagine there being such a thing as artificial lightning. You sure? You had to trample on the flowers at your feet. Did you even realize that? Though the person who placed this sign here is really the one to blame. Oh wait, that's me. Sorry about that. <laughs> Please throw all your empty cans into the trash bin. Earlier today, Limes' chat sang happy birthday to me. One word at a time, the whole chat did it. They nailed it. It was perfect. I bet you guys can't do better. I dare you to try. <laughs> Bialante, nice, nice swole ass purple heart you got there. Oh, a kid from the village. You're so nice and unsophisticated. Happy some fuck I missed that. Happy birthday birthday. Happy birthday, man. Two to you, frosted butts. Some you H. Stop that. A U. Happy birthday to you. Happy P U He P body. Birthday style memes has happy once to dear you you. Welp, not like this. You're welcome. Gongnam. Dear, dear burp day. Gongnam style. OP. Chat is an ultimate shit post mode. Happy daddy's cummies. OP. Oh god no. KY. Hoppy fur day. Yif. Happy taco. Pretty good. Almost. You, you tried. Gold star. Ah! It's a chicken snake. Is this where I'm supposed to be right now? I'm not even sure. I can't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing at this point in the game. Yeah. You won! Perfect mixture between a cock and a trouser snake. It's a cock snake. Oh, listen to this music. Oh, it's so grooving. This song is so good. Yeah, earlier I was watching Mike's stream, and we were talking about how apparently today is Sonic the Hedgehog's birthday. I share a birthday with Sonic. But, uh, one of my favorite video game song ever is from a Sonic game. I linked it to Mike, he played it, and now I'm gonna play it for you too. For those who've never heard it before. It's, uh, it's a classic. Give me a second. I'll find it. You're gonna love it. Here we go. The piano slides kill me. Like, I can't even believe that this is a real song that was in an actual video game. It's still be better than Crazy Bus. Oh, my stepbrother just texted me. Let me get him. While you guys enjoy the tunes. You know, and apparently 
Sonic Chronicles, if you actually get into it, was not that bad of a game. I couldn't get into it personally, but apparently if you get far enough, it's actually pretty decent. But this is from Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, which was the DS RPG. Back to the mother music, because it's so much better. Now there's one thing that these two songs actually um, share in common. They're both kind of wacky. They both got very distinct bass lines. But man, this is like that kind of style done right, and the other one is that kind of style done wrong. You know? Yeah. Nice. Good job, Boney. There we go. Slitherhen. <laughs> yeah, this game is kind of a an animal pun gold mine. God, I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah. Nice. Nailed it. Bony leveled up. See, at this point, even if I'm not supposed to be here, all my levels are actually going to matter. Whereas, like, leveling up Flint didn't do anything because you don't use him for the rest of the game. Oh, I need to see Wes at the village. Okay, thank you, Vanilla. I appreciate the, the heads up. I might as well just spam the button. No point in comboing when I'm going to two-shot it anyway. You know, I wonder at what point along the line the mother development team decided to make the backgrounds into like trippy psychedelic images. Is there a story behind that? Like an official story? Has anyone ever explained it? I'm kind of interested. Oh look! Cutscene when you go back to the village after the train thing, I guess. Facade! Stop it! Quit ruining this town any more than you already have! There's something not right. Uh, there's something not right about all this lightning. Especially today's. I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant! Grab your cr keep your grubby hands out of this town's affairs! Why, hello there, Mr. West. You know, if you keep making the veins on your forehead pop out like that, happiness will only escape you. By which I mean your hair in this case. In any case, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Well, it's been fun. Please be careful not to trip, get hurt, or go bald on your way home. Holy shit. Cease this violence! I'm no bug. I'm an old man. Toad T is also, it's also his birthday today. Jeez. There's so many birthdays today. Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Why would he, <laughs> what? Why did he stop what he was doing just to go over to a like 10 year old boy and say that? Lucas, I really wish you would put a happy box in your home already. So you can be happy just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. Let's see, according to Temp, it toy referred to the battle background animations as a video drug. The same specialist made nearly 200 of these animations working solely on backgrounds for two years. Holy shit, really? I'd never read that. That's incredible. Hey, get back here, frog. Get back here. <laughs> I guess we'll go talk to Wes.
There, it's interesting. There are so many frogs that you can, you might as well be able to save literally anywhere you are, but they still insist on tying the save to like a thing in the world, whereas instead of just putting it in the menu, it's kind of interesting when you think about it. I'm glad. I think the game's like has more personality because of it, but it's just odd. Oh, Lucas, I really embarrassed myself earlier. But curse that facade, treat me like a bug, like a stag beetle. What? A guy who looks just like Duster? Could that moron still be? Lucas! I'll now lower my voice to talk to you in a whisper. I hate to ask, but you, could you go see if this lookalike really is my moron or not? Facade's cronies are on the lookout for me, so I can't go anywhere or do anything. Please, go find that moron for me. You, you gotta do it, Lucas. It's the only way. If you do find Duster, send this dub to let me know. Question is, what would Lucas do with a dub if he didn't find Duster? Because if he sets him free, he'll presumably go back to West anyway. Long last, my time to be useful has come. <laughs> it's been waiting for this, man. Thanks, Lucas. I go myself, but everyone's on the lookout for me. No problem, Duster. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Lucas would eat some chicken. I like how half the chat immediately jumped to saying he would eat it. Like, how did that hive mind happen? Yeah, there's not much room for exploration. Definitely a lot less than in Earthbound. Like, Earthbound would throw you into the village and say, like, okay, figure out what you gotta do. And this game is much less like that. Oh, it's only 25? Eh. Well, how much money do I have? Hang on. Yeah, I can afford it. The Pisces bracelet is what I can't afford. But we'll get that too. Oh, I did it again. It gave me the, the choice to equip it. Thank you, Foofums. How are you doing today, man? Mother 3 is very linear, which I think is one of the, the ways in which Earthbound was a little better. But I think Mother 3 is better than Earthbound in so many other ways. <laughs> what if I could sell Boney? But why would I do that? Alright, Zombie Cupcake, thank you. You have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Train goes directly to the factory from the station's currently out. But the conductor is out on the town, so I don't think he'll train will be coming this way. If you really want to go to the factory, it's just walk along the train tracks. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. Okay. If you insist. The fan, the Mother 4 fan project's still going along. It's just slow, which you can't blame them. They're making a game from scratch. Wait, 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 wait! Oh yeah, Mr. T. I just remember this. I don't know what reasons you got, but it looks like you want to go through this tunnel, right? I know you won't listen to me if I try to stop you, so here, I'll give you this instead. Railway map, yay. K -Y. Oh shit, what we got here? Give me a second. UA donated 15 bucks! Holy moly! Said happy birthday, KY. Thanks again for the uh, for a great Mother 3 stream. Whoa, thank you so much for that, man. That's like one of the biggest donations I've ever got. Thank you so much. Wow. So generous. Thank you, UA. Do you know what the most frightening things inside this tunnel are? Nope, they're not slither hens or mushrooms or anything like that. The answer is... Trains. Trains are the most dangerous things in all of there. <laughs> I did not read that right. So be very careful not to get hit by any.
Ooh. Mushroom, right? No, rambling mushroom. Okay, I gotta turn my speakers. I'm gonna combo to this. If you keep trying to enter a tunnel before you talk to Wes. Yeah, I forgot about that dialogue. Oh, thank you, Expand Dong. How are you doing this evening? Yeah. You won! Level 11. And an edible mushroom. That's another classic mother monster. In fact, I think that's the first uh, monster that they brought back from Earthbound. And I don't know if it was in the first mother. Crap. Yeah, I would, I've gotten 13 more than anything. Have you guys noticed that? the mother for it's still it's still coming still coming I should make a moobot command that's just exclamation point mother four that simultaneously says it's still coming out uh, that says that uh, yes I will stream it and says my opinion on it and that way anytime anyone asks about it in chat I can just you know someone in chat can just use the command you know You know what kind of makes me sad? How each character is a different musical instrument, but Bone he just fucking barks. I kind of wish he had an instrument too, so I could imagine him jamming, jamming out, you know. Also, I like how there's a train track sound in this song, in the soundtrack. It's a nice little touch. Ooh. Ooh, gotcha. Yeah. The the barks are pretty cute on the combos, I'll give you that car park. Absolutely. No, that mushroom. Heal up Bony. There we go. Undertale is liked to an alternate Nintendo multiverse where Granddad exists, where Earthbound Halloween hack takes place. I wanted to like that Halloween hack so much, and I just kind of didn't. I think the balance was really off on it, is probably why. I thought parts of it were cool, and I didn't finish it. Everyone says I stopped right, it was getting good, which is a shame, but it just kind of, I don't know, it just annoyed me because of the grind. Holy shit, that damage. Oh, I gotta give Boney some items, because he always acts first. Whoa, no combo.
Yeah, I always thought it was kind of interesting how you had Ninten, who is clearly a shorter Nintendo, and then NES, who is kind of like Nintendo Entertainment System, you know? I think it's a pretty neat, neat little thing. Neat little naming convention. And then Lucas and Claus, um, or Klaus, it's because they're anagrams of each other because they're twins. So to me that also makes sense, so I'm cool with it. What is that? What is that? Woof 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 woof! <laughs> Girlish clothes are laying on the ground. Lucas is an anagram, you see, of Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP. See, does that? No, it's just, it is just for PP, but I don't have any PP at this point in the game, so it doesn't even matter. Wait, I bet there's a hot spring, like, right around here. Oh, hey there, fairy frog. And before I save... <laughs> As if there aren't enough butterflies flying around. Yep, there's a hot spring right up here. Oh, here comes the creepy ass scene. This is like one of the... If this is the scene I'm thinking of, this is actually one of the few parts of the Mother series that never really sat right with me. <coughs> Aye, you caught me stark naked! Oh, aren't you that boy I met at Aeolia's house three years ago? Hmm. Remember? You said you were going to the Drago Plateau to avenge your mother. Huh? That wasn't you? Really? How odd. I'm Ionia, one of the Magipsies. This is a magic butterfly colony. I often came here, come here, to revitalize after I've worn myself out after overusing my Psy. <laughs> Are you here because you overused your Psy too? Oh? You've never heard of Psy? That's odd. I sense loads of magical power coming from you. Wait. Just endure it. For a little bit. Don't struggle. Just endure it for a little bit. Yeesh! Just a little more. Okay! Something awoke inside Lucas. Lucas learned life up A. Lucas learned healing A. Lastly, power welled up from deep within his heart. Lucas realized the power of PK Vidya Alpha. Lucas learned how to use Psy. Yeah, he was holding him under the water, really. And I think the theory is that the danger to Lucas's life... Um... The danger to Lucas's life... Uh, makes it make those latent powers wake up inside him so it's kind of like bat baptism oh my goodness I can't believe it you can use PK Vidya not even we Magipsies are able to use it you sly devil you I don't know where you come from or where you're going but we might meet again so at least tell me your name Lucas Thanks, I'll remember that. Now go! I want to boil up too. Mm. Oh wait, I was gonna heal up or something. Hang on. So here's what I got. Life up, healing, and vidya. A side ability that only Lucas can use deals major damage to all enemies. One thing I like is that how the the special ability, which I think by default is PK Love, uh, but it's really whatever you name your favorite thing as being, it actually has a plot significance in this. Whereas in Earthbound, the ability to use PK Rockin' doesn't have any kind of plot significance. Oh, everyone's at full, right? Oh wait, hang on. 
Oh, I already got it. Okay. There we go. He's not proud of his name. And actually, since we don't need the money right now, we should deposit most of it so we don't lose it if we die. Oh wait, that's withdraw, shit. Then again, isn't it good to keep like 15 DP or so? I think there's one or two instances where you actually need money in an unexpected way. So we'll keep 50 on hand. 55. It's good. Alright guys, I'm going to go use the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in about, oh, one minute or so. BRB. Okay, I'm back. Hey guys. You've heard of a streamer who actually got stuck in his bathroom midstream, huh? I wonder what the strangest thing that has ever happened on a stream would be. Besides, you know, like I know that people have accidentally left their webcam on and had sex on Twitch before. And it makes you wonder too how much of an accident that was, but man. Then there's that guy who fell asleep for hours as viewers skyrocketed to like 10,000 people or something crazy. I wonder how many people attempted to recreate that after that happened. Oh fuck, that was the worst. There we go. That was really laggy for some reason. A guy got robbed on stream, really? Huh. Twitch TOS prevents people from sleeping on stream now. I wonder why. Like, what's so bad about that? I guess it's just using their bandwidth for almost nothing. fight this dog mushroom
You know, I should use PK Vidya. Wait, what'd the, the flavor say there? Oh, now we've read that before. Yeah, link me up, insane. Wait, hang on, let me permit you first. Yeah. There you go. You won! Wait, why did my PP go down after that message? Huh, it's weird. That dog. There we go. Apparently a guy assaulted his girlfriend on the stream. Jeez. I hope that motherfucker got arrested or something. I can't believe that. Candace asked, God damn, I would hope so. I would hope there'd be a shit storm if they didn't. Like hot dog or dog food. Do do do. Streamers are weird. I'm never going to stream where I'll be weird and I want that. Yeah, it's true. It's the only way to be entertaining is to be really weird. You know? The Japanese guy burned his house down on stream? Jesus. How the fuck did he manage that? fight one of those. They look interesting. The video of his house burning down is great because it just keeps going. It streams till his computer just dies. I kind of want to see this. Um, I had not played Yumi and Nikki, but I know what it is. Streamer house burn Wait, stream your house fire. Minecraft player live stream house fire. Japanese streamer Dasuke. Huh. He has a cigarette in his mouth. That's a good start. And he's showing a lighter. What is this nonsense here? We're gonna have a YouTube watching sesh while I play this. Give me a moment. second. Ah, oh, fuck, that's not the thing I want. Uh, let's see. That's the one I want. One sec, guys. We're gonna watch this together. Don't stream it. I'll get banned for it? Why? Will I really? Alright, never mind then, shit. I'm just gonna turn it on on my other monitor and keep an eye on it. <laughs> He's just showing a lighter to the stream. What is he doing? I love this song. It's a pretty sweet song.
Oh, this is the one that I think you need to do, like, the percussion to instead of just the beat. That guy was just fucking with you, it's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, so he's smoking a cigarette. He just puts on a big pile of flammable stuff and ignores it. I'm sure he didn't do that intentionally, right? Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! Nice dive. <laughs> oh, thank you, Skit uh, Stickener. I almost called you Skit Skittener. Uh, Quit Blash is a party game. It's kind of like Cards Against Humanity, but a little bit more clever because you write the answers yourself. Rather than choosing from something in your hand. Oh, right, the cattle snakes. They're powerful, aren't they? Let's try to fight one. I'm curious. Let's let's heal up. Hang on. I wrote a save state. What's he doing? He's just smoking a cigarette, dicking with his lighter. He hasn't done anything yet. Is there a butterfly around? Okay, the cow snake's gonna destroy me. And of course I can't use it anymore. That's okay. I just wanna see how hard this guy destroys me. staring at me. Well, first off, its defense is too high to do any significant damage. Okay, I'm fast forwarding this to where he puts down his cigarette. You can even see that, like, he is not ashing the cigarette at all, so it's just like hanging off. Oh, what the hell? Sorry, I'm watching this guy. Okay. Look at that shit eating grin. <laughs> he knows what he's about to do. Yeah, watch. Here it goes. Oh, there goes Boney. I should have healed Boney. Oh man, there's a bony. Oh my god. Show it to us, so I wanna eat, I wanna get banned. If there's a possibility of me getting banned for some reason. Okay, yeah, let me scroll up. I won't. I won't get banned. I won't. That guy was just fucking with you. I'm new to Twitch terms. Okay, so I won't get banned for that. Alright. We're gonna watch this video together in the corner here. Give me a second. As long as I definitely won't get banned. Oh wait, <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try that again. Anything? No? What the hell? <laughs> okay. Third time's a charm, right? Why is it not... Last time. Okay. Hey, and I have a better idea. An easier way to do this. Okay. There we go. So this video is apparently a guy live on stream setting his apartment on fire. Um, and I wanted to watch it. So we're going to watch it together. Enjoy. It's about, I skipped forward a bit to around the time the fire starts. So we can enjoy the slow descent.
It's my face cam, yeah. Oh, Lucas is fucked. <laughs> Alright. Well, that doesn't work. Oh my god, what did he do? How did he do that? He just put it down? On some flammable ass shit? Hang on. I, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the battle. I don't know why. Okay. Something sets on fire here. He puts it over there for God knows what reason. Like, what is he thinking? Is that just his trash pile? It's trash! Oh my god, and he's just not- doesn't even know. He just pours a little bit of water, like, yep. No, this is happening. The best part about this is I can combo in the game and watch this video. Oh my god, it just gets worse! He just puts the trash pile, the flaming trash pile, onto more flammable trash. It's like he took flaming newspapers and just put them on more flaming newspapers. Or more newspapers, you know? Like, what was he thinking? Oh my god, I can't believe this happened. How does this even happen? Oh, he just comes with a tiny little bucket of water. He doesn't keep a goddamn fire extinguisher for situations like this. I can't believe this. Oh, he almost got it out. He almost got it. Oh my god. Look at all the smoke. Holy shit. How has he not called the fire department already? This is so dumb. beating the fire to death. The thing is, you can actually smother it. And it might actually work. The problem is he's... Oh god, I'm confused. The thing is, he's like beating it with like tiny little things and other flammable stuff. I feel bad for him too, Zero. Don't get me wrong, but holy shit. Come on. Come on. I guess it's one of those situations where it's just so unbelievable that you don't react the way you should. Like, you just kind of think like, this can't possibly go out of control. It couldn't possibly happen to me. Of course, he had to get the fuck out. He couldn't even breathe anymore at that point, I'm sure. Uh, I'm not slacking off at all. I'm sort of like, you know, keeping an eye out for people who are slacking off. Yeah. What are you smirking about? Sure, Butch. Whatever you say. Time for another small bowl of water. He's trying. I'll give him... I'll give him that. He's trying. powder oh my god now you can really see things going to shit all the black smoke coming up dude stop call 911 you little oh my god or whatever the Japanese equivalent of 911 is does anyone know I, I just sorry I know I'm not doing anything in the game I just can't take my eyes off this a few people were hurt. Really? Damn it. Get a blanket or some shit. It's too late at this point. God damn. Man, I wish I could see the chat during this. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. Seriously.
There we go. I'm sure someone in chat was probably already calling 911. Like, for him, you know? Boney's gonna die, I just realized. Don't die, Boney. Thank you. There we go. I gotta heal everyone. Could also use some more PP. Oh my god, look at it. At this point, you can't even see anything. Okay. What a shit show. I can't even believe that this happened. Okay. Oh my god. I can't even believe. Oh, that's right. I remember this. Sh th I actually think this part of the game is kind of crappy. You need to like work in the factory to get some points to to go through the door or something stupid like that. Oh, this guy. He should just rest at the fire. <laughs> it's a bonfire. It's like a Souls game. He just kindled a bonfire. Oh yeah, he's got to be gone at this point. Eye drops, okay. That helps when I'm crying, I think. He is reviewing the lighter. Wow. He wipes off some lighter fluid on a tissue and tosses it into the trash. Interesting. I'm I'm terrified to unmute it. Oh, that's when it went out. Huh. Very interesting. Subtitles. Now nah, we're good. I think we're good. That's just unbelievable. I can't believe that happened. What's the point of this little corner? Oh, I'm gonna quit soon to play some Quiplash! Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Also, my viewer count increased by like a third. I should just play YouTube videos in the corner instead of a face cam. And we'll just watch YouTube videos all the time. Soda. I don't think I want any of those. I'm gonna give Boney all my healing items since Lucas can heal just fine himself. I don't have any healing items. What the hell? What would I do if that shit happened to me? There's nothing I really could do. I would just call 911. I'd get the fire extinguisher out of my kitchen for one. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Are you here at the fact? Wait. Are you here at the factory or something? Oh, for something. I misread that. I was like, that makes no sense. You feel like working, I'm sure they'll hire you. Hang on, let me... I know that there's a reason I need to work, but let me just see what it says if I try to proceed. Oh, that's right. I gotta ride the tram or whatever. Yeah, I need tickets. His viewers were trying to warn him, I'm sure. Uh, let me see. It's his stream chat. A lot of streamers have a text-to-speech thing set up to read out donation messages and stuff. So his viewers were sending him messages. When the fire first starts, the voice reads out a message saying, Ushiro, Ushiro, behind, behind. So one of his viewers was trying to warn him of the burning bag behind him. Later on, the messages are stuff like, How did this even happen? And why aren't you calling 119? Wow. I can't believe that. Also, I get a map. Ooh, cool. Nice. There's the lightning tower in the upper right. Spoilers, the lightning is not natural lightning. <sighs> of 
crap. Do 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 do. Apparently the Japanese 911 is actually 119. I thought someone was joking <laughs> earlier when they said that. Yeah, you do actually need to hit the percussion here. In Brazil, it's 191. Really? Are they all just variations on that? I guess there can't be a lot, but that's really interesting. Itchy Itchy Q. It reminds me there's a Netrunner car card called Chi Q, which is like 4 9 because they're both unlucky numbers or something like that. And the, the flavor of the card is kind of appropriate because you need to choose between two bad things. Like you choose between either damage or negative points towards winning. Goddamn smart flavor there. Burn. Um, I'm not sure if I should continue. I gotta get ready for Quiplash soon. Hey, you suspicious fellow. What are you doing here? What's that? You wanna go to Club Titty Boo? There's a special place for workers here. Go to relieve their daily exhaustion. It's not for people who don't work here. You absolutely have to go there. Then it's simple. Just do some part-time work here. What do you say? Not yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I think that's a good spot. Because the, the factory stuff takes a while. And I want to gather some of the streamers for Quiplash. And any room that's left, if there is room, which I imagine there will be. I think there's room for like eight people in a game. And I know not all the streamers, not nearly all the streamers are going to be joining me. Um, depending on the room, I'm also going to open up codes to chat to see for you guys to join. You don't actually need to own the game. Quiplash, all you really need is an internet browser or a phone. The The game says phone, but you can just do it in an internet browser because it's kind of designed for party situations. It'll be fun, so stick around. It's kind of like Cards Against Humanity, but we write the prompts themselves. So depending on the group you get, either they're really clever or really bad. Usually like bad in my case, but it'll be fun. You'll see us trying to be funny. Trying to give you the funnies. So uh, stick around, and uh, I'll be back with some Quiplash with some friends real soon. Probably 25 minutes or so. Uh, maybe not even. So stick around. I'll see you again in about oh, 20 minutes or so.